Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you are having a fantastic day so far. Um, if you missed it a little bit earlier, I uploaded my review of Nest Himalayan Salt and Rose Water. That review will be linked in the description box right below this video here. If you'd like to go watch that after you check out this review, feel free to do so. Also in the description box, I will put a link to where you can find the candle we're chatting about in this video. Um, this is Homeworks Strawberry Kiwi Lemonade. So you can find this one at um, homeworks.shop. Uh, I will put my affiliate discount code in the description box right below this video as well. That way, if you wanna save 15% off of your purchase of $40 or more, you can feel free to enter that at checkout and save yourself a little bit of extra money. Um, I do want to let you guys know that this candle, before we even get into the review, was sent to me as PR, so that means that I did not pay for it. From time to time, when new fragrances are released uh, by Homeworks, they will send their ambassadors a candle or two to be able to share our thoughts with you guys. This was one of the ones that was sent to me. Um, all opinions are still my own, and I wish that I had nothing but good things to say about this candle. <laughs> But unfortunately, the strength and throw on this one are pretty abysmal, and uh, we will definitely discuss that. But first, let's go through the usual um, review uh, lineup here where we talk about the fragrance notes, we'll talk about strength and throw, and then we will address any burn issues. Okay, so the scent story here reads, cool down after a hot summer day with a refreshing Squeezed lemonade made of sparkling strawberries, tropical kiwi, and cooling sugared mint leaves. The fragrance notes uh, read as follows. For the top notes, we have sparkling strawberries, wild mango, and papaya. For the middle notes, we have sugared mint leaves, frozen lemonade, and kiwi cooler. The bottom notes are vanilla sorbet and coconut sugared musk. Okay, you guys, um, let's let's discuss. First of all, in terms of the fragrance, um, what I can smell of it, I do actually really like. Um, you guys know if you've watched uh, a lot of my content that I'm not really a huge fan of mint. And I will admit that there is just a touch of mint in here, but it is so um, subdued by the other fragrance notes that it doesn't bother me. So I think it kind of actually plays a nice role in here. And don't get me wrong, I love me, I, I love consuming mint. <laughs> like I love minty gum. I love cocktails with mint in them. I love food dishes with mint. Um, I'm kind of a big fan of just, you know, mint when it comes to consuming it. But when it comes to home fragrance, I don't know what it is. I just don't really like it. <laughs> But it is present in here, but it is more of like, just like the hint of mint that would be in your lemonade versus like, you know, like something that is just very, very mint forward. Um, in terms of just the lemonade portion of this, so there is a definite like lemon, lemon vibe to this, but I will say, I think that the strawberry and then the kiwi flavor as well, kind of are in equal amounts to the lemon, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of times with a lot of lemonade fragrances, the lemon or the citrus portion tends to be a little bit more prominent with maybe like the strawberry or if it's like, you know, a, a, a peach lemonade or something, maybe the peach is a, it plays a little bit of a background note while the lemon stands out. This, I think the strawberry, which I wouldn't consider strawberry, it's just a nice, sweet, generic strawberry. And then the kiwi is, um, I mean, I don't know what a kiwi cooler is, but I, I do think there is just a touch of kiwi in here. Um, my kid happens to really like kiwi, so I'm pretty familiar with the fragrance. Um, and I, I think it does smell like a really nice, nice, authentic kiwi. Um, the mango, I don't really pick up. I also don't get much in the way of papaya here. Vanilla sorbet, no, this does not come across as creamy at all, um, or vanilla-y. Not that sorbet is necessarily creamy, but, um, yeah, there's just, a, there's no vanilla vibe here for me. There is also, 
no coconut sugared musk although that could be maybe just a supporting role that my nose isn't picking up or it's just not a thing um that being said i think this smells like a really great summer drink option for sure um if you know if you're looking for something that smells really yummy i don't think you can go wrong with this particular fragrance but where it does really go south for me and where i hope they can maybe tweak this again is the strength and throw it's it's so light you guys i would have to put it at like for the strength i would maybe put it at like a three out of ten i can i can smell it when i'm standing right next to it um but as I step away, there's virtually nothing for the throw. Like, I have to be standing right next to it. So the throw, I would put, I, I guess that would be a one. Um, it's just, it's really hard to detect this one. I will say it does a little bit better when I have the Hurricane. Um, so the glass that goes with this, um, this wood base here. This is the uh, Pottery Barn Sherborne Hurricane base. There is a beautiful glass shade that goes over top, obviously, um, and the pedestal is, by the way, a Homeworks candle pedestal that does not come with the Sherborne Hurricane. Not that this Hurricane is easy to find anymore because, of course, it's sold out, but um, yes, it does perform just a touch better with that glass Hurricane portion in use, but that being said, it's not enough to where I would tell people to go out and like pick up mass amounts of this especially if you are the type that really wants your home fragrance to be super noticeable you're i just don't think you're going to get that from this one and it's a bummer because it is a lovely scent <laughs> harry put together a great summertime refreshing drink kind of fragrance for sure the vibe is there but the strength and throw really needs some help with this one and honestly i think most of you if you tend to prefer your candles the way that I do, which is much more prominent, much more noticeable. I don't know that you're really gonna be happy with this one. Another thing that I wanna say is, when it comes to the overall burn quality, um, it's such a clean burn. There is absolutely no residue on the side of the jar. Um, it's been burning pretty perfectly in that respect. The wicks, however, are very thin, and I'm wondering if the reduced strength and throw has to do with the types of wicks. Um, they're very thin and I just don't know that they produce enough like heat to really cause the wax to release the fragrance oils here. Um, they're also the types of wicks that tend to want to like lean in on each other. So I do limit the burn of this one to about three and a half hours. It's been great w with that. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's the wicks here that might be the biggest problem. But then also, just, you know, on cold sniff alone, it was just a touch lighter. So while I wish I could give this one, like, multiple thumbs up, um, I, I don't even feel like I can give it a thumbs up just because the strength of throw is so light. So um, I hope they go back to the drawing board on this one, but I can't really give it a super positive review. So... That being said, let me know if you pick this one up and what your experience is. Um, I never did try it underneath the lamp. Maybe that would have increased the strength and throw, but I just kept hoping that with this one, because it was burning so well, that I might hit like a scent pocket somewhere along the way, but I'm pretty close to being finished with it. So let me give you guys the quick overhead shot here so you can see how close I am to finishing this candle up. I think I'm literally on the last burn today. I'm gonna go ahead and let it just finish itself off here. Um, but you can see the wicks. They're nicely centered, but they do tend to want to lean in a little bit on each other. And then I just don't know that they produce enough heat. I don't know, but this one needs to be reformulated for sure because what is going on with this one is not going to be to the preference or liking of most of you guys, I imagine. So anyway, like I said, let me know if you have this one and what your thoughts are. And um, I'll definitely be passing some feedback along to Homeworks directly about this one in the hopes that maybe they can figure out 
you know, something different for future repackages if they decide to keep it in the lineup. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching today, you guys. Please make sure that you are subscribed if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.